In this video, I will show you how you can calculate the determinant of a matrix using the Laplace formula. In particular, I will first show you the formula and explain it, then I will apply it to a 2x2 two two matrix and a 3x3 three three matrix, which allows you to extend it to any n by n matrix. So let's start with the formula. The determinant of A is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n times minus 1 to the power of i plus j times a i j times n i j. So i can be any row of the matrix and j is some fixed column. Then you have minus 1 to the power of the indices element aij times the minor ij, which is the determinant of the matrix if you delete row i and column j. Note that you can also flip these two indices so i is a column and j is a row. So let's start with an example. Take the matrix 2, 1, 1, 2. If you already learned how to calculate the determinant of a matrix for a 2 by 2 case, you will easily know that it's the falling diagonal minus the product of the falling diagonal minus the product of the rising diagonal. So in this case, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. However, we can also use this formula, which will already show you how to apply it to a 3 by 3 and then by a matrix. So if we go with the formula, fix j as column 1 and i as row. So we start with the first element here, which has index 1, 1. So it has a plus sign, because the index is sum up to 2, times element ij. Let me erase this. So it will be 2 times the determinant of the matrix if we delete row and column 1. So we delete row and column 1, and we're left with the element down here, so it's times 2. Now the second one, we increase the row to number 2. We go to this element, which has indexes 2 and 1, so 3, so we have a minus sign, times the element, times the term of the matrix if we delete set row and column. So we're left with this element up here, and we will have calculated the same determinant, which is equal to 3. So let's go to the 3 by 3 case. Let's take a similar matrix, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2. Okay? get the determinant of this matrix, let's again fix row, column 1, and start with row 1. So the indices sum up to an uh, even number, so it's positive. The first element is 2 times the determinant of the matrix if we delete row 1 and column 1, which is 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 1, 2. The second element is this one here, which has indices 2 and 1, which sum up to 3. So there's a minus sign times minus the element. And we have the determinant of the matrix if we delete column 1 and row 2. So 1, 1, 1, 2. And the last element here which is 3 and 1, so it sums up to 4, which is an even number. So there is a plus, the element itself, times the determinant of the matrix, if you delete column 1 and row 3, which is 1, 1, 2, 1. OK. Now we can calculate the determinants for each individual case. If it's an M by A matrix, you will have just shrunk uh, the matrix by one dimension, which will then require potentially to use this method recursively for each matrix that you will get. In this case, it's very simple. So 
2 times 2 minus 1 times 1 is simply 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 times 2 is 2 minus 1 times 1 is 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 and the last one 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 times 1 minus 1 and we got the determinant of 4. Last but not least, how do you choose which column to choose in this matrix? So you can choose the column preferably if it has zeros because then you know one of these matrices or determinants are equal to zero immediately um, and you can much quicker get the determinant of that matrix. For example, if an entire column is equal to zero, then you immediately know by choosing this column as the one fixed that the determinant of that matrix is zero. Thank you for watching.